Twelve years behind bars, former mob boss Joey Merlino is a free man tonight. Skinny Joey was reportedly released from a federal prison in Indiana late Monday and is on his way to his new home, which is a halfway house near Palm Beach, Florida. Dave Schwatweiser has been covering this story. You've been all over this one for years, Dave. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people know Joey Merlino, uh, the guy in the spotlight, the headlines, but maybe not everybody. So bring us up to speed. Well, he's kind of like the John Gotti of Philadelphia, guy mm -hmm. who never met a camera he didn't like or a reporter he didn't want to talk to. He's always got the headlines from feeding the homeless to giving Christmas gifts to poor kids, stuff like that. But he's always been on the radar screen for the FBI, Lauren, constantly on the radar screen. Just did 12 years, stand-up guy from what they're telling us in prison, didn't talk about anybody else, and now he's a free man. He has to go to that halfway house for six months. So where does he stand with the mob now? Well, that's a good question. I mean, given the situation right now, Joey Merlino has no standing with the mob. Uh, he's kind of like the ex-boss officio, so to speak, just out of prison. He can't associate with mobsters for the next three years or any known felons or anything like that. So for him to get back involved with the mob, at least on the radar screen, would be a big problem for him. He could go back to jail to serve more of his sentence if he does do that. i got to ask, though, how hard is it for these guys to cut ties? Well, it's tough. Joey's <laughs> friends are all mobsters, gangsters, people like that around him, associates, things like that. And when you have a situation like that where he's constantly around people that are associated with the mob, some are convicted felons, it's kind of tough to not be around your friends. Now, I've heard you and George Anastasia talk about this on Mob Talk before, but there could be some further indictments down the road. Has he escaped totally from that or possibly? Well, we are expecting a new round of federal indictments that could include uh, current boss Joe Legambia and others. If that were to happen, if that were to happen, that would leave open a vacuum for a new boss here in Philadelphia. Now, could that be Joey? If he's in Florida, I doubt that. Could he have one of his guys, his second lieutenants, uh, a Steve Mazzone or a John Changlini, somebody like that, who's currently who are currently here in Philadelphia, and they're off parole? Could they end up running it if that were to happen, if a vacuum opened up? Could be, and Joey's kind of a boss in waiting, so to speak, in Florida. So he's in Florida, but you think he'll be back here in Philly as soon as it's well, over? Well, he says no. He says hmm. he wants to stay down there. He wants to work. He wants to uh, get a job, which hmm. he has to do by regulation or he gets in trouble again with the feds. He wants to spend time with his daughters, who are now uh, almost teenagers from what I understand. And he wants to spend some time basically with family members and things like that. I think once he's out of the halfway house, hmm. in a home and working, you'll see things like I'll that. I know you'll stay on top of this well, one. We will. We'll, we'll see if he comes back to South Philadelphia. We'll see if he stays off the FBI's radar screen. Right.